Hello there. I'm going to define to you the allegory of the cave, a philosophical model that the classical thinker Plato created in his dialogue, The Republic. Plato describes to us a situation that compares the effect of education, or paideia in Greek, and the lack of it in our nature, as well as to define the na true nature of forms. Socrates describes a group of people who have lived chained and forced to face a wall of a deep cave for the entirety of their lives, the people watch shadows projected on the wall by puppets being placed in front of a fire behind them by nefarious people of unknown, and they take it upon themselves to name the reality and its aspects which they see, as the shadows are the only exposure the prisoners get to viewing reality. If the prisoner was to escape, the surface represents the new reality and knowledge that the freed prisoner will experience. As his eyes adjust to the light of the sun, he could only see shadows as soon as he sees people and things and later see the people and the things themselves he then explains how the philosopher is like a prisoner who is freed from the cave and comes to the understanding that the shadows on the wall are not reality at all as he can perceive the true nature of reality rather than the shadows seen by the prisoners an example of plato's allegory of the cave in popular culture is the film the matrix in the beginning of the film, the main character, Neo, is a prisoner of the Matrix. The human resistance group, led by Morpheus, makes it their mission to make contact with Neo because they think he is the Chosen One. The Chosen One is an exceptional individual that has the cognitive ability to control the Matrix and not have the Matrix control him. With Neo's cognitive ability, the human resistance hopes he can free the human prisoners of the Matrix and to destroy the machines that have created and control the Matrix. Once Morpheus finally meets Neo, Morpheus gives Neo the choice between taking the red pill or the blue pill. The red pill will free Neo from the Matrix, and the blue pill will ensure that Neo remains a prisoner of the Matrix. Neo decides to take the red pill and begins the process of freeing himself from the Matrix. Neo wakes up in a prisoner pod connected to a network of other prisoners. Then a machine grabs him and flashes a bright light into his face, and Neo is trying to fight against the machine to free himself. The machine promptly releases him and disconnects him from the pod, flushing him to an area for waste. He is then rescued and rises towards a light being the real world. So in this clip, the machines compare very, very directly to the puppet master from Plato's cave allegory. They have control of what those who are plugged into the matrix perceive as reality. Neo's mind is the wall in the cave that receives the projections of objects from the fire, their shadows. The matrix program is the fire in a form because it creates the reality for the prisoners. The uplink connected to Neo's cerebral cortex is the walkway for him into the matrix, or the walkway that presents objects in front of the fire in the cave. It allows the matrix program to project the fake reality into Neo's mind. And last, this shows that Neo is the prisoner. He is chained by the cables attached to his body that keep him in stasis and connected to the matrix. Plato's allegory of the cave describes the nature of what is real and what is just illusion. Real knowledge is not subjective and it's the higher forms that provide this knowledge which is represented by the light from the sun. It is good to be able to see the light and the forms as this means one now has a comprehension of what is true reality. In this respect, it would be considered a bad thing to fail to see the light as this would entail no real knowledge is obtained. This is the case for the people who are chained inside the cave. Their knowledge is only based on shadows and the reflections of the objects outside the cave. Similarly, Neo is able to know the forms because he has unplugged himself from the world of illusions or the matrix as it is known and is figure figuratively able to walk out of the cave and into the light. The sun and its light are a representation of the ultimate good or reality. The light for Neo comes from the machines that strip him away from his pod where he soon discovers that he has never used his real body ever since it has been discovered harvested by the machines. 
Similarly, Plato believed in hierarchical levels of being. He looked at reality, reality like a dimmer switch that went from least knowledge or opinion to higher forms. In conclusion, the world of forms never changes. They are eternal, are not created, and will never go out of existence.